So say we're going to make some equivalent fractions. So equivalent just means equal. They'll look different, but they'll be the same size. And the way we do this, well, there are lots of ways to do it, but today's strategy is to use a ratio table. A ratio table, this looks like a two-column table, and it's going to help me make equivalent fractions by making sure everything is the same size. So I'm going to start with an easy fraction, three-fourths. And I'm going to put it as my first fraction. And I'm going to make five more fractions that are equal. This is the easy part. All you have to do is skip count by that number. So if I'm starting out this column with threes, it's like an in and out table, I'm going to skip count by threes. Three, six, nine, twelve, 15. And I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom, except this time I'm going to skip count by fours. 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, So what I've created are five fractions. And I know they don't look like fractions, but they're in boxes. But what if I recorded them like this? Now you can kind of see their fractions. And each of these fractions is equivalent. It's as if I took my original piece, here's three-fourths, and the second fraction is as if I took each piece and I cut it in half. So now I have eight pieces, and I just have six of them. And this third fraction is if I have three-fourths, but I cut each piece into three pieces, into three slices. You see how I have three, six, nine, I have 12 pieces? And what if I color three, six, nine? So each one I'm doing, it's as if I'm taking this original fraction, I'm just cutting it into smaller and smaller pieces, but I still have the same amount of my fraction. Okay? So that's how I, this is one way of making equivalent fractions.